Alrighty guys, well we had a pretty decent little afternoon of chicken hunting, went down my chicken road here and uh, ended up shooting four, seeing probably closer to eight or nine, but they're all flying away and I don't get too antsy about it, you know, you gotta leave some for, for next year, but uh, what I'm gonna go over now is just how I like to clean my chickens. There's, there's the traditional way where you spread their wings out and you put a foot on each of their wings, you grab them by their feet and you pull straight up. But when you have kind of conditions like this where it's it's just muddy and gross and a bunch of crap, I really don't want to put my chicken in the mud. So what I do is I grab them by their feet like this. And right here, this is their breast. And where the breast comes up to a point right here, you just run your fingers along here you can actually feel the tip right there I grab there and I just pull down and that does that exposes the breast so I pull all that away and then right here so this is kinda like their stomach it's just a little sack that holds their food before it goes into the gizzard take my thumb I just pull that out of the way and then here you have their throat or it's kind of their spine so what I do is I take one finger and I'll put it in there then my other finger I take it and I hook it underneath it's kind of hard to see through the feathers and stuff and then I just pull and that way you got the legs and all the guts inside and then what you're left with, just a nice clean bird. And then inside there's usually the heart and the uh, lungs. Lungs, I just throw them out. But the heart, my dogs absolutely love that. There's a little chicken heart. Hey, Rick. Come here. There, good boy. And then the last thing that I do here is I just kind of pretty it up a bit so all these feathers pull them off try to keep your meat as clean as possible you don't gotta go too crazy I just kind of go kind of to that first knuckle and I do the same thing on the other side and that way it's nice and clean birds good to go and then uh, if you're doing it out in the field like this it's very important to keep one wing attached this is just for identification so if you get pulled over by a CEO if you have 10 birds you can pull them all out you can look at the wing you can identify what type of bird it is by the wing for me I just leave them both on it doesn't really matter and then you always want to have something nice and clean to put them in uh, usually a plastic bag or today I just got a paper bag went home hardware the other day to buy some nails so use the bag and then I'll show you how how quick it is here when you're not explaining stuff I'll just quickly do it Pretty well it takes longer to pull off all the extra feathers as it does to actually clean the bird. So it's uh, for me it's a lot cleaner, it's a lot faster than doing it the old way. Uh, this way it is harder for some women and young kids to do because you need a little bit of strength in your hands to do it but for the most part anybody can do it. And uh, yeah you're left with a nice clean bird.